moms and dads often come to me and ask me, why would it be important for my son or daughter to go to Caribbean Mountain Academy? Why is that a valuable experience? And the reality is this, is that we don't want their children to go to the Caribbean Mountain Academy or to Pearson Woods. We want them to be in their home, but there are times when it's necessary. And I think what we do down there is extremely um, important. And a lot of things that we do that are extraordinary. One is this, and when you're in, in the Dominican Republic, which is a beautiful country, is that you get an opportunity to be what I call unplugged, maybe for the very first time. Have you ever heard a parent say, well, I talk to them all the time, but they don't listen. They don't hear me. Well, the reality is most of the time they have something in their ear or they're doing this. They're not paying attention. When you're in the Dominican Republic or at Caribbean Mountain Academy, you're truly unplugged. It may be the very first time in years that you actually get to hear the truth. That's one of the things. The second thing that I really, really like is about the faith part. You know, we have a very, very committed faith community there that pours their lives into your sons and daughters. And I talked to a lot of families, do you go to church? Well, we used to. Do you have a personal relationship with Christ? Well, we kind of. The reality is most of the issues we're dealing with kids are not about their head, it's about their heart. It's about their faith. Another thing that I love is that what we do with missions. Our children do community service in the community three to five times a week. And the reason I think that's really important is in the United States, all of our children are spoiled, all of them. I don't care if they're the poor of the poor, they're spoiled. We don't even understand what it means to be poor. And the reality is our kids for maybe once in their lives are giving rather than taking. And it's an extraordinary, it changes their lives. They get to see the Dominican families who, I'd be very honest, are some of the happiest, most lovely people I've ever met in my life. In fact, I had a Dominican gentleman say, Mark, I just need you to know something. We don't want what you have. Isn't that interesting? We think we're going there to help them. They don't want what we have. They love their children. They love life. They're full of dance. They're full of song. I mean, it's, it's an incredible community. But so our children get an opportunity to be unplugged. They get to be in a spiritual environment, a faith environment. They get to give or she, rather than receive education. They're working on their school. You know, that may be the very first time that they get to get caught up in their lives because we have an academic program that allows them to go on mastery of subject rather than the number of days. I believe what we're doing, those four or five things, are extraordinary and very unusual. Um, and then the last thing that I think makes this also very unusual is that we are going to work with you, mom and dad, as much as we're going to work with the child in the program. And I'll be honest, if you don't want to work as hard as your son or daughter, we don't want your child in our program. Did you hear that? We don't want you in our program because the reality, it will be successful if you decide to work just as hard as your son or daughter is. If you do that, you'll be amazed at the success.